Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here. And at CES 2016, one of the questions I wanted answered is about digitizer technology. I'm here at the Wacom booth with Doug Little of Wacom. And first of all, the company name. It's a big source of debate among the internet community. I've been calling it Wacom my entire career. Is that how you pronounce the company name? Well, you would be one of the few that actually pronounces it correctly, Norm. It is. It's Wacom. It comes from the Japanese word wa for harmony. And com is a derivative of computer, so harmony between humans and technology, that's Wacom's mantra. It's not Wacom, guys. It's Wacom. Well, one name that people don't mispronounce is Cintiq, and that's the flagship product line. You have the Cintiq 27 here. I know artists out there love it, but artists have a lot of options these days. You know, Microsoft has the Surface Book, the Surface 4, with new their new you know, Ntrig essential technology. Uh, Apple has the Apple Pen, Apple Pencil, with their iPad Pro. And what are the what are the technologies that make a Wacom a Wacom? How, how do you get the parallax right? How do you get the, the sensitivity right? What, what are those technologies? Sure, well we do a lot of things with our uh, yeah, creative pen displays, the Cintiq. Um, uh, first of all, uh, we have our technology which is called electromagnetic resonance technology or EMR technology. And it's a technology that is built in behind the LCD. And like any um, digitizing uh, technology, it is a grid pattern. The grid pattern is fairly tight, and it gives you a very, very accurate uh, result when you're using a pen. Um, one of the cool things about Wacom pens, also there are no batteries in our pens. So the EMR board is actually powering the pen through capac capacitors that are inside the stylus. Um, pressure sen sensitivity is very, very important to um, creative professionals as well. And uh, we have 2,048 levels of pressure in our pen. And it starts recognizing pressure at one gram on the screen. So super, super sensitive. So you mentioned there's a lot of metrics you call out there, right? In terms of the, the, the resolution, how small those, that, those squares are in that grid in the sensor. Uh, not only the levels of pressure, set, pressure sensitivity, but how much force you have to put on before it starts detecting. That itself is a metric a lot of people don't think about. Also, latency. How do you get latency low? Do you pull the pen a lot? Uh, yeah, well, one of the cool things about uh, uh, Wacom Pen as well, you can calibrate it. Uh, so you can go into the driver software and just calibrate it very easily so it, to fit your eye as you're looking on the screen. Uh, that, that's called parallax, right? right. That the idea that how your eye perceives the image on the screen as if it is a piece of paper on the surface. Exactly. So what's happening is um, there's, you're going through about a millimeter of glass and then about two millimeters of air before you get to the LCD surface. And that's causing the parallax. Um, but it is something you can calibrate and let and get to fit your eyes. So um, it's just a matter of getting used to, um, and, and it's really easy to do. I mean, you can you know invest a lot of R and D into improving each of those. You know, minimizing that glass distance, increasing the pressure sensitivity. What do you find your users want more? Artists who are professionals, you know, what are the features that they feel like actually improve and make this more useful? Uh, yes, yeah, certainly, um, certainly, pressure sensitivity is obviously huge. Um, speed at which you can do things. Obviously, when you're working with a very, very big file, um, speed becomes an issue, and that's really related back to the type of computer you're using. So the idea is that it's a display, and we're relaying this information to a connected computer, Mac or PC, that you have. Right, correct. We, we make displays like this large Cintiq. We also have our Cintiq Companion, which many people have heard of as well. And that's a full Windows uh, 8 device, Windows 10 now as well. And um, just gives you the same technology, but built into a, a, a portable PC. So responsiveness, latency, Parallax able to configure that, and also customization of the pen, the digitizer itself. You guys have buttons, the back works as an eraser. Right, our, our, our pens also are pressure sensitive on the eraser as well. You can turn it right over, so I can, I can, I can make a line here, turn the pen over, and I can erase. That's also a big deal, something you don't see on the Apple Pencil, for example. There is no eraser. Obviously, you have to also uh, um, power their pen. Their pen needs recharging, ours doesn't. So there are lots of things there that um, aren't often talked about, but they are very important to artists. Well, Doug, thank you so much for sharing with us some insight into how Wacom thinks about pen digitizing technology, the needs of artists, and what artists out there and consumers should be looking out for when shopping for displays, Wacom or otherwise, and how to pronounce the name. <laughs> yeah, thanks for showing up, Norm. We really appreciate you stopping by. It's great. Great, great to see you. Thanks.